Oh, I guess my computer doesn't turn on. This is the only thing it does. No display. The lights on the keyboard don't work. Getting a hard disk light. That's good, I guess. I guess I'm gonna hold down the power button. Oh, cool. It turned on, but it's over here on my music area. Yep, that's the correct resolution. I guess I'll be going into device manager now. Display drivers. Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Okay, well, that's the problem. It's supposed to be a GTX 1080. Can we update this back to it? The best drivers for your device are already installed. Okay, buddy. And NVIDIA control panel is nowhere to be found. Where did my graphics card go? Literally all I did was enable SMB so I could transfer a video off of my phone. And then I also ran a Windows update that it kept bugging me to do for a couple days. I guess we're gonna have to go into the computer. You know, I probably have to reseat my graphics card. Okay, I'm just gonna hold down the power button again. There it goes. That didn't sound very good for the hard drive. Turn off the power supply. Press the button a few times. Probably should actually unplug the power. Okay, no chance of me getting electrocuted, right? Probably. I'm not moving this computer from where it is. Let's get the glass out of here. Put it somewhere where it's not gonna shatter. I got my screwdriver. Here it is. It's made by Scepter, and a part of the S is missing. Oh, I probably have to unplug all the display cables. Hold on. It's flying around over here. There's a bug flying at the camera. Are you kidding me? I think there's a moth in here. <laughs> I hope it wasn't inside of my computer. Take it out and put it back in. Knock down the camera. Okay. Oh, God damn it. And it's out. Do I see anything weird in there? Nope, just a cable going in places that I kind of don't want to. Nope. Doesn't want to go up there. Sure, that'll stay there. I'm gonna shove the graphics card back in there. Do I blow it or anything? Cool, I probably just blew a bunch of dust into the slot where it needs to go. That's really great that I did that. I cannot see anything. Hopefully I do not break it. That sounded like a good sound. In you go, that sounded great. Put the PCIe power back in. I'm not putting the screws back on until I know this works. I'm putting one monitor in. Well, which one is my actual main monitor? I think it's this one. In it goes. Cool, it didn't explode, all right then. Now, for the moment of truth, will this turn on? It's booting, probably. Hello, will it boot? That is not correct. What the hell is going on here? It's running at 144 Hertz. How is it doing that? Ba Microsoft basic display adapter. Oh my God. Properties, this device is working properly. Yeah, yeah, sure buddy. You know, as far as you're aware, I'm sure it's working great. Driver from 2006. Let me check the event viewer. All right, there's some errors. NVIDIA local system container terminated unexpectedly. It has done this, what is it? It's done it how many times? It has done this 15 times. All right, well, let's get out of here. Do I, do I just have to reinstall NVIDIA drivers? GeForce Experience is on here. Can I run it? I can, how is it opening? Something went wrong, try rebooting your PC, then launch re, okay. God damn it, Windows update. What did it just install that destroyed it? It just installed a cumulative update. What, what was in there? It addresses a security issue. Was my graphics card a security issue? Try to install the official NVIDIA drivers, even though they're literally on here. Maybe this is a sign I should just get a new graphics card. 1080, GeForce game ready driver, view. Download. That downloaded pretty fast. All right, open. It might be working. Oh, is it working? Custom. I just want the graphics driver. Installing graphics driver. Cool. Oh, it just went black. Oh, well, would you look at that? It worked. I gotta, oh, what just happened? Oh, it's fine. Why did it do that? Figured I'd record myself clicking shut down just in case something weird happened. Oh, I probably should uh, screw the graphics card back in first before I start plugging heavy cables into it. Do I need to turn off the power supply? Famous last words, no. Oh, f maybe I should turn that off before it falls into it. Hold on, no risk of electric shock now. Now, where did that screw go? Actually, I think it's just on the floor. What is this, a metal shaving? Gotta get that out of there. Let's screw this thing back in. Hopefully this isn't a bad omen, putting it all back together just to turn it back on and it not work again. All right, plugging the power supply back in. And now I gotta plug every display cable back in in the order that I think they went in. I just realized this fan I put in here is not screwed in. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's been so loud. There we go. Now it's actually at the correct spot I wanted it, I think. Fix later, okay. Gonna put the glass back on. Oh, I just put a bunch of fingerprints on it. You have successfully accomplished nothing by taking this off except for tightening the fan because it was just the ow it was just the graphics driver okay now hopefully oh i didn't turn on the power 
It turns on and doesn't explode. Post, it's posting over here again. And it's back to doing this. What if I just start unplugging monitors? We don't need this one. We don't need this one, because that's my TV. We don't need the DVI one. DVI bad. Oh, it's unscrewing the nut from it. And we don't need this one. Now it's just on my main monitor. Will it work? No. Okay, well, I don't know what the problem is now. Press the reset button again. Why would it? Oh, it's working, look. Oh, it is the right re resolution. Oh, it, it just fucking went away as soon as I turn off the camera. Oh, it's back. What the hell is happening? Let's start plugging monitors back in. Will that one work? Yes. No. What? Oh, it's fine. And if I move my mouse between this, is, is it going to be reset and stupid? Yes, it is. All right. TV is plugged in. Other TV is plugged in. I have one going to my bedroom. Music DVI somehow is going in. Now, is it doing anything? No, but that's a good thing because I have this thing on. So if I do this, it should go over here. Yay! Okay, everything is working. Oh, it is, it is working right now. Okay, so my thing saved me up a bunch of reconfiguring. That's great. Cool, okay, that's fine. And now what about my other TV? This one is in my bedroom. Yay! That's correct. Done! We fixed it all. Done here. This TV is going to have Windows 95 on it the next time you see it. Or maybe the other one, but probably this one. Well, bonus video for the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, don't give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you for watching.